In a couple of respects. First of all, this is not a treaty of all 27 member states of the European Union. This is a treaty which has been agreed by 25 of the 27. The second way that it is different is its ratification. This treaty will not require the unanimous agreement of all of the member states. In order for this treaty to come into effect, all that is required is that 12 members of the Eurozone countries uh, ratify the treaty and it will then come into effect uh, when the 12th country has ratified it or on the 1st of January 2013. Ratification of the treaty is required in order to access the uh, funding from the European Stability Mechanism. Uh, the European Stability Mechanism is the only fund that we can be sure of uh, that we would get funding from if we need it uh, to get emergency uh, funding. We will, of course, continue to be funded as part of the programme that we're in with the EU and the uh, IMF and the ECB. That funding will continue up to the end of 2013. We hope and we expect that we won't need funding beyond that. But if we were ever to need such funding, we would need to be able to access the ESM and ratification of this treaty is necessary in order to access the ESM. No, what uh, François Hollande is uh, talking about uh, is about uh, complementary measures uh, to promote growth uh, and jobs and investment in Europe. And of course, uh, that is something that the Irish government has already looked for. And indeed, uh, in the text of the treaty itself, it's quite clear uh, that the treaty is intended uh, to promote growth and investment uh, in Europe. And at the January summit, uh, when the treaty was agreed, it was also agreed that there would be a jobs and growth agenda. And we will be we will very much welcome um, uh, broad support from that, uh, from uh, the new French government if there's a change of government on Sunday, uh, or from anybody else.